Hello viewers, welcome to this video. I did this video last week about the fact that Kubernetes is dropping support for Docker as a container runtime. And I also did this video, Cube43, which is kind basically Kubernetes cluster in Docker containers. I did this video about a year ago. So I just want to revisit that video and this one is not affected by Kubernetes dropping support for Docker as the container runtime. Although the kind Kubernetes cluster runs in Docker container, it doesn't use Docker as the container runtime. So that's what we're gonna take a look in this video. If you're using Kind as your Kubernetes cluster for your development purpose for learning, you don't have to panic, you can still continue to use it. So you still need to have Docker runtime on your host machine where you're going to use Kind binary to create the Kubernetes cluster. But when Kind creates the cluster, bootstraps the Kubernetes cluster using container D and not Docker. So that's what we're gonna take a look. First, let me go to the Kind Kubernetes page, Kind Kubernetes, quick start, kind Kubernetes, and right at the very top, you can see the warning. I mean, the information that it's not being affected by the Docker shim deprecation. Quick start, okay, let's download the binary. You can either download it from here. The latest version is 0 0.9.0, or you can go to their GitHub page. GitHub, kind Kubernetes, Kubernetes 6, kind and if you go to the releases page the latest release is 0 0.9.0 and you can download it from here kind linux amd64 copy the link address wget download that okay so we have that change mode plus x kind linux and i'm going to move this into user local bin as kind right so now if i do which kind we have that kind version version 0 0.9.0 okay the quickest way to create a cluster is creating a cluster is as simple as kind create cluster running this command so let me move this to a different workspace so that we can have a better view of my terminal kind create cluster minus minus help so we're going to create a cluster by default if you don't specify any configuration file and when you do kind create cluster it's going to give you a single node cluster single master node cluster with no worker nodes but if you want to add additional worker nodes you have to create a configuration file right let's first try and create um, a kind cluster so if I do docker ps, I don't have any docker containers running, but once I create the kind cluster, you will see docker containers running on my host machine. Kind create cluster, enter. Okay, ensuring node image. So now it's pulling the docker image node version 1.19.1. So as of now, the kind Kubernetes cluster that this binary is going to create is 1.19.1. I think although you can specify which exact version of Kubernetes you want, right? It's now starting the control plane. So now you don't have to copy the configuration file. It should be done already for you. And if I take a look at dot cube directory even if you don't have a dot cube directory even if you didn't create the dot cube directory it would have created it for you and there's this config file cube config 127.0.0.143643 okay so that must be one of my docker containers and now if i do docker ps let me clear the screen docker ps right so we have one docker container running and the image the docker container image is node version 1.19.1 started about a minute ago and that's the port mapping so inside the docker container which is the master node actually listening on port 6443 it's mapped to my laptop on port 43643 and the kubectl binary that i'm using from my host machine i'm going to connect to this port on this IP address, which is my local host. Okay, so what we did was kind create cluster. That by default gives you a single node Kubernetes cluster. Okay, kind get clusters. So we have one cluster. All right, so if we want to, let's delete this cluster, kind delete cluster. And if I do Docker PS, we don't have anything running. Now let's try and run a um, cluster with two worker nodes, okay? In order to do that, we need to go to the documentation to find exactly how we are going to add those details, right? It's here, multi-node clusters. Basically, it tells you, you, you just specify how many nodes you want to create and which are going to be your worker nodes, which are going to be your control planes and so on. So let's copy that and create a temporary file, tempkind.yaml, paste that. We want one control plane and two worker nodes. All right, let me change that to one worker node. 
save that and now to the kind create cluster command we are going to pass in minus minus config option and pass in the yaml file that we just created and now you can see we've got two nodes here one is the master node and one is going to be the worker node starting the control plan let's give it a few more seconds okay command completed now i can do kind get cluster so we have one cluster i can do docker ps so now i've got two docker containers running on my laptop you need to have docker runtime installed on your host machine however the cluster that kind created for us is not going to use docker it's going to use container d as the runtime so we have these two containers one master and one worker node and i can do kubectl cluster cool so that's our cluster 4085 is the port and we've got it here 4085 that's bound to 6443 inside the container cool kubectl get nodes minus o wide and let me reduce the font size a little bit okay so now you can see here kubectl get nodes we have two nodes the one to groovy gorilla as the image and the container runtime is container d version 1.4.0 and it's not the docker container runtime let's log into one of these containers docker ps and let's log into docker exec minus it for interactive mode and we're going to log into kind control plane and open up a bash prompt which ctr ctr is the binary that you use to it's similar to docker like how you do docker ps docker list docker images docker info so the command we are looking for is ctr to interact with the container d runtime so we have ctr i can do ctr namespaces list we have one namespace to look what's inside that namespace ctr minus minus namespace k8s.io containers list so i'm looking at i'm looking for the containers that's running inside this k8s.io namespace cool look at that so all these containers controller manager api server scheduler kind net d q proxy hcd so everything is running as container inside the docker container so this is basically docker in docker it's container d in docker actually give this a try let me know if you've got any questions i'll be happy to help i'll see you all in my next video until then keep learning and keep on learning Bye bye